Welcome to Porta Plata in the Dominican Republic. I'm your host, Keely Turner, for part one of part two series where we will walk around the Dominican together for my first time. Our tour guide shares little nuggets of information along the way. The Dominican is colorful with rich culture and history in the Caribbean. Let's explore together. Every 15 minutes. See the other one was at the top of the mountain right there? Yeah, yes. Yes. Oh. Wow. You can feel a little bit. That's like zip lining. Yes, yes, <laughs> but, it's, it but I feel good. I feel good. You see? Since, since okay. today I feel a little hot, you know, because it's a little humid. So, you know, because for the weather, there's something happening. In, in Miami, you know, with oh, the hurricane, yeah. The yeah. See, reason why we feel just here in Puerto Plata, uh, you feel very, very like hot. Yes. Yeah. Let's jump in. The construction of the cable car started in 1972 and opened to the public July 19, 1975 and has been running ever since. You can almost feel the breeze on your face as we go up the mountain. Dare to look down. Don't worry, you won't fall. The cable car will take us to Isabel de Torres. You know, when the Spain come to Dominican Island, you know, Christopher Colombo, the Isabel, the queen from Spain, they come to this island. So I'm going to show you in the central part how they live. See the orange? Uh -huh. See? Oh, it's orange? Yeah, there. Yeah. We got Maybe lime, orange. lime orange, orange, uh, sweet orange, see? Paradise flower, see? Because so you are like in Paradise Islands. <laughs> oh. We got different colors. We got red, white, yellow, yes. Come follow me into the tropical forest. So the, the cayenne, the cayenne flower, so is the, the the very typical flower from Dominican. That's not the national flower. That kind of flower, they have more than four color, white, yellow. 
uh, a little green and, and so that kind of flower we use to make tea. So with the cinnamon, with the anise, so with different spices. What is this flower called? What is this flower called? The kind of flower. They call they call it like a river flower. So because just around the river they just have a lot of but sometimes they call margarita, the cayenne tuna. So you see, the history say, so the, the Indian begin to do something like that. So the reason why the whole community come to the, to, to the mountain and to help him and to, uh, you know, just do it exactly the same. The reason why we have just more than one, one kilometer, the ton, uh, cayenne tuna. Come, let me show oh, you, please. Let's go check it out. Uh, this way, please. Okay. Now you're gonna have a nice, great time in this tunnel. Let's make some tea. The Tropical Botanical Gardens cover about seven acres. This little paradise is home to over 742 species of plants in this forest. The trees create this amazing shade on this hot, hot day. We find more than 32 river, natural river, come deep uh, down the, the, the city. It's nice for the whole community. Fresh yes, water. Yeah, fresh wow. water. Sweet and nice and cool and clear. It's nice. You can swim, you can uh, nice uh, shower. Oh, that sounds <laughs> nice. nice. Take a moment of relaxation next to this quiet pond with koi fish. You won't have to worry about the mosquitoes like I did. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's nice. Okay, enough of meditation. Let's continue the tour of the tropical forest. What is this plant? That kind of special plant we use to make a special tea. So when you have a, a gripe or fever, you see? Mm. Something to relax. You want to smell it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> something yes. excellent. And this is the ingredient that we use to prepare the meal. So, see? Ooh. The cilantro, see? That's the cilantro, you see? That's, that's not cilantro. So yes, that's the one that we oh, use. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, ore, the oregano. Oh, oregano. The oregano, oregano, no cilantro. cilantro. I'm going to show yeah, you cilantro. I'm going oregano. to show you cilantro, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see how the process, how we just prepare the meal in the you countryside. See, the first toilet that we use in, in, in the countryside. That's something to have the idea. And this is the cafe, cacao. Yeah. But this is coco. 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 Keep in mind, Puerto Plata in the Dominican is fairly safe, but it is always good to sort out your driver rides ahead of time when traveling in a new country, especially if you're an inexperienced traveler or traveling alone. We had a travel guide at all times while in the Dominican Republic, which is great when you don't know your way around and it's your first time in a country, or you don't know the language of the locals. Puerto Plata is a relaxed beach town, so crime is not so common, especially in the hotel zones. However, it's always good to plan ahead of time. Join me for part two as we explore the heart of Puerto Plata and the beaches for some fun in the sun. Adios.
We're not going in, right? 